didn't till now. She's wearing like a fairy outfit. She has wigs on, and instead of a bow, she has a flower on her head. Um, and it's a black background, and we still have those uh, little roses. Um, these are so good. I cannot wait to see all of the cards. Um, if these ones I think are cute, like I don't want to imagine what the rest of them looks like, especially because of the preview that we got from the uh, from the box. Like this one, this gonna this is gonna be my favorite one. Okay, now I cannot wait to make that other video. Um, and yeah. On the back, uh, let's see, we just have the rules, I think, um, yeah, let's see if it says anything about that special rule. I don't know, I cannot uh, uh, see anything about the new rule, so uh, maybe, yeah, I'll just have to check when uh, I actually want to play the game. Guys, are you ready to see the next set of cards? One, two... Three. <laughs> yes, we are not done with the Una cards. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so these are Sanrio cards and the difference with the ones that I just show you, I just showed you, is that here we have all of the characters. The first one was just Hello Kitty, and here we have Kuromi, my melody, Hello Kitty of course, I think this is um, Pomperin, Pomperin, something like that, and you know, I'm sure we have Cinnamon Roll, and Garoppi, and all of them, so I think I like this packaging more, I don't know, I, I think Romy and my melody together look always so perfect. I don't know, it's just like the perfect, uh, the most perfect combo. And uh, I don't know, I just like the colors, the blue with the pink. It's, yeah, it, it's adorable. And let's look um, at these cards down here. We have Kuromi, she's holding a strawberry. Um, and she's sitting, I think that's like a macaron. And then we have Hello Kitty in this really uh, sweet pose. And then um, these two cards, we can't really see them that well. Uh, let's look at the back. Um, let's see, it's just the same thing. And here it doesn't say anything about um, a new rule. So, I don't know. But let me let me open uh, this one. Okay. <laughs> so we have like a similar color um, going on. Uh, same as the other cards, we have a green one and a black one, and uh, it's of course the zero card and the color changing card. So, I think this character is called Choco Cat, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, is like a little dog. I think that's why I'm little like. Um, I'm not so sure that its name is a Choco Cat because he looks like a dog, but you know, it's fine. And he's holding ice cream, an ice cream cone. There is a lighting bolt and um, I think it's like a sailor outfit. I think that's what it is called in English. And I'm not really familiar with this character, but I think I'm gonna start loving him because how can you not? Yeah, and then of course we have Kuromi and my melody. Um, I have a plushie with Kuromi in his 
loud with uh, and then uh, my melody they are they are actually both wearing bows but yeah i don't think that um there are other ways of describing this unless you don't like sanrio or hello kitty and you're like oh they are disgusting <laughs> but that's your problem <laughs> anyway yeah i think I don't know, I'm, I just wanna play Uno now and uh, I actually don't have anyone to play Uno with because here in my family it's like not a very popular game no one ever wants to play yet so if any of you want to play Uno with me please, please do, please come here and play Uno with me <laughs> I promise this is the last set of cards <laughs> Da -da -da. <laughs> so, we have Kuromi again, but these are the um, normal, uh, like, um, kind of cards, you know, the ones that you play poker with and other games like that. So, I also got this from Vinted. I um, got all of the uh, cards from Vinted. And these are Kuromi playing cards um, And we have a little uh, purple and black of course Kuromi here on the front uh, the, uh, Let's say, let's see what it says The United States playing cards company Air Cushion Finish made in USA, okay And then here is the back actually what the cards um, look like on the back um, and uh, yeah it's just uh, it just says Sanrio and let's just open them and yeah here it says poker I've never played poker I don't know how I actually don't know any game um, with these kind of cards there are a lot of like Italian cards that we have here um, like from different regions um, of Italy and uh, I know lots of games with those cards but these kind of cards they are always been like the adult kind of cards and so I haven't learned any games yet even though I am an adult but I think most of the times when you are playing cards no one wants to like spend the time teaching the game to someone that has never played because it's mostly you know like uh, at Christmas or like another kind of holiday and it's like I just wanna play I don't wanna waste time explaining it to you and so they say oh you know next time I'll teach you and then they never teach you <laughs> so anyway that's like my uh, problem like my family problem but Okay, let's let's get them out of the this box. I don't think they are in uh, some kind of order order, but we can have a little um, sneak peek because I also want to include this um, set on that on them in that video. So I don't want to look at all of them, but we can see what they look like kind of they are all black and it's like a neon purple they look like neon signs you know what i mean and this is kuromi and it's a three of arts now guys i want to like remind you that obviously if i've never played with these cards in italian let alone in English so I don't think I know the names of these cards so I'm sorry but this is hard so I know that <laughs> and then let's see wow look at this what is this oh this is the queen oh are you kidding me oh my gosh wait I want I want like the the thumbnail let's um Let's put some cards like this, maybe. I don't know how that will look like, but yeah. And 
this is the king uh, it says uh, cheeky but charming uh, here on the bottom I don't know if you can see I hope I'm not blinding you I think it focused okay and yeah wow okay let's see if I can remember the names of the cards in English so we have arts of course I think this is diamond and then uh, what else um, I think one is clubs um, and I think it's the flower no way alone this is the same kind oh here yeah, the flower we call this flower in Italian um, so it's uh, clubs uh, and then I'm missing I'm missing one um, and I don't remember it I don't know, I'm sorry oh, spades I think it's spades yeah, so, okay, so clubs and then spades I think, yeah and then I'll tell you the names in Italian so we have um, these are picche fiori cuori e quadri so, yeah I don't know if you cared about that, but <laughs> I think I think it sounds good when like in ASMR someone is speaking a language and then randomly they start speaking another language. <laughs> so I do wanna like include some Italian in my videos uh, once in a while. Let's uh, let's see what we have next. So this next few things that show you our books as you can see and we have different kind of books we have two similar ones and a completely like different one I'm gonna start with this one so let me put this on the side for now and let's look at this one so this book is by Madison Beer and it's called The Alf of It. She's a singer, in case you didn't know. And this is a memoir. It's a book that she wrote about her life and everything that she has been through. She has been through a lot. If you listen to her music and you know you are a fan of her, you kind of know, I guess. Um, some of the things that she has talked about um, but you know obviously reading about it in a book it's completely different so I wanted to um, read it this is actually I think it came out last year I didn't get it right away because I was waiting for her to put up the signed version on her website again but she never did so I just waited and waited and then I said okay it's not happening so let me just get it on Amazon and that's what I did I like uh, I really like this uh, cover I think it's really simple and also the name is like so perfect for this because it's like about how people think they know someone just because they are a famous person but you never know you know like it's it's just the image of the person that you created in your head but then behind all of that there is so much more because obviously at the end of the day she's also a human and this is just this is just like in general for all of the uh, celebrities and whatever so yeah i think it's like um she did a really good job with the cover and the name it's very straightforward you know that's what i was trying to say but so let's uh, let's open it i guess um, i have seen some uh, uh, quotes uh, um, and parts of this book on tiktok um but i obviously i have never read it so um yeah it's like the first time that i'm actually opening it so like this chapter is called the road not taken um, and I am guessing I know what it is 
is about because I don't know part of uh, her story but you know it's not very ASMR friendly so I'm not gonna say what it is about um, and let's see I think there was something like here yeah I saw this um, on TikTok uh, this is uh, like a journal part where you can write uh, it says journal prompt 8 so I actually don't know if this is the only one or there are more but it says reconnecting with yourself and then you can fill in this blank part these blank parts so like I feel at best when I'm blank when I'm complimented in my blank I feel most seen I think this is a really really sweet and a creative idea I think I will definitely do this and uh, I am going to enjoy this book because as you may know I have struggled with mental health myself I think I mentioned it in uh, um, in one of my videos and um, I love her music I love her as a person so I feel seen by the fact that she is also just a human and she has struggled and I don't know it, it I just feel a connection to her I'm sure you get what I mean now we have these other two books and I'm really excited about these ones guys so as you can see they are in Italian <laughs> So this is Bianca Neve e Sette Nani, which means Snow White, of course, and then Ire Leone, which is The Lion King. So, what are these books? These books are a collection that is going on right now in Italy. You can buy these from uh, um, newsstands. And they are so incredibly cheap. The first one that came out, which was The Lion King, was only one euro. And then the second one was um, 1.99. And then uh, it's like gonna go up with every um, book that comes out. But the um, max price that I saw, I think, will be 4 euros. So, yeah, still very um, inexpensive. And these are, it says, Le mie prime fiabe, which means like my first stories, like my first Disney stories, which obviously means that these books are for kids. It's, uh, they are very small, you know, it's a very short version of the, of the movie that they are talking about, you know, in this case, Snow White and the Lion King. And if you are wondering why I bought these books, no, I do not have kids. <laughs> there are actually no kids in my family. I don't have cousins, I don't have nephews, nieces or siblings. Well, I do have a sister, but she's older. So <laughs> she's older than me. So, um, basically, I... I just wanted them like there is no actual reason you know and I was thinking maybe for the future when I do have kids um, it will be like a sweet thing to pass on to them or you know read to them and also was thinking maybe they have like an ASMR function to them because I could make a video where I read this to you in Italian of course because they are in Italian and I feel like that would be really relaxing because I love watching videos of other languages when they are reading in other languages and uh, maybe I could also like read them to you and then translate them I don't know I just thought um, yeah they had like an ASMR thing to them so that's also why I got them and there are illustrations um so let's see it's snow white which is my favorite um i don't really like the lion king to be honest look we have the snow white and the queen right there 
taste, please, 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 good graces, sharpest to coincidence, and the bad game, and then the B side, as espresso, of course, dumb and poetic, slim pickings, Juno, and lie to curse, and don't smile, and then here it says, she leaves quite an impression, which is a um, lyric from the song Taste. And then here, I don't know why, it says US dollars for four dollars. I don't know why it says that. But yeah, it's like um, a vintage ad, it looks like. So yeah, this is, this is very, very cool. And uh, I just love her right now. enjoyed this video if so please like comment and subscribe i will see you in the next one